No matter where you currently reside, in Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, North or South America, or even Antarctica, you've probably been taught these seven continents of the world in school. But did you know there might just have been another continent? Ever since the days of the Greeks, people have tried to prove that thriving civilizations once existed on huge islands that have since sunk beneath the sea. And if you're guessing Atlantis, then you might be surprised to know Atlantis isn't the only once great civilization to have allegedly sunk beneath the waves. We're talking about the lost continent of Lemuria. In the mid-1800s, a few scientists working from scant evidence theorized that there once was a lost continent in the Indian Ocean, and they called it Lemuria. Lemuria, what started as a straight-laced scientific theory, ended up attracting all sorts of true believers, from Victorian occultists to Indian nationalists. On this lost continent, some even thought there once lived a race of now extinct humans called Lemurians, who had four arms and enormous hermaphroditic bodies, but nevertheless are the ancestors of modern day humans and perhaps also lemurs. The story of Lemuria begins with a British zoologist named Philip Sclater, who wrote an essay in 1864 called The Mammals of Madagascar. In it, Sclater wondered how Madagascar, an island off the eastern coast of Africa, could be home to dozens of species of small cat-like primates, lemurs. While the entire continents of Africa and India had what Sclater believed to be only a few species of lemurs. In fact, Africa and India had no true lemurs at all, but Slater grouped some other big-eyed primates as lemurs. This was long before plate tectonics and continental drift were household words. Plate tectonics didn't gain traction until the 1920s, so Slater's best guess was that lemurs originated on Madagascar and migrated to Africa and India over a vast land bridge the size of a great continent. Slater wrote, I should propose the name Lemuria, naming the hypothetical continent after his furry friends. Charles Darwin published On the Origin of Species in 1859, and for those who accepted his controversial theory of natural selection, there was one burning question. Where and when did the human race first emerge? In a popular book titled History of Creation, an influential German biologist named Ernest Haeckel peddled his own theories of evolution, naming Slater's lost continent of Lemuria as the likely cradle of humanity. According to Haeckel, there were 12 varieties of men, and the first humans to evolve from ancient primates did so on Lemuria and spread from there around the globe. Haeckel wrote in 1870, The probable primeval home or paradise is here assumed to be Lemuria, a tropical continent at present lying below the level of the Indian Ocean the former existence of which, in the tertiary period, seems very probable from numerous facts in animals and vegetable geography. It should be noted that Darwin wasn't exactly a fan of land bridges and sunken continents. He once wrote a letter to Charles Leal, a prominent geologist who promoted the idea that continents routinely sunk and resurfaced, saying, if there be a lower region for the punishment of geologists, I believe, my great master, you will go there. While all this might seem outlandish, these ideas flourished for a time both in pop culture and some corners of the scientific community. Of course, modern science has long since debunked the idea of Lemuria altogether. But then, in 2013, geologists discovered evidence of a lost continent, precisely where Lemuria was said to have existed, and the old theories started cropping up once again. Soon, other noted scientists and authors took the Lemuria theory and ran with it. With help from Haeckel, Lemuria theories persisted throughout the 1800s and into the early 1900s. This was before modern science discovered ancient human remains in Africa that suggested that continent was actually the cradle of humankind. This was also before modern seismologists understood plate tectonics. Without such knowledge, many continued to embrace the notion of Lemuria, especially after Russian occultist, medium, and author Elena Blavatskaja 
published The Secret Doctrine in 1888. This book proposed the idea that there was once seven ancient races of humanity, and that Lemuria had been the home of one of them. This 15-foot-tall, four-armed, hermaphroditic race flourished alongside the dinosaurs. Fringe theories even suggested that these Lemurians evolved into lemurs we have today. Afterward, Lemuria understandably found its way into novels, movies, and comic books well into the 1940s. Many people saw these works of fiction and wondered where authors and filmmakers got these fanciful ideas. Well, they got their ideas from scientists and writers about 75 years before. But can there be a possibility that Lemuria was real? In 2017, researchers discovered some interesting evidence near the nation of Mauritius. Any scientific theories of a lost continent and land bridge responsible for the migration of lemurs is gone. However, scientists found fragments of granite in the ocean south of India along a shelf that extends hundreds of miles south of the country towards Mauritius. On Mauritius, geologists found zircon, despite the fact that the island only came into being 2 million years ago, when thanks to plate tectonics and volcanoes, it slowly rose out of the Indian Ocean as a small landmass. However, the zircon they found there dated to 3 billion years ago, eons before the island had even formed. Scientists theorized what this meant was that the zircon had come from a much older landmass that long ago sunk into the Indian Ocean. Sclater's story about Lemuria was true, almost. Rather than call this discovery Lemuria, geologists named the proposed lost continent Mauritia. Based on plate tectonics and geological data, Mauritia disappeared into the Indian Ocean about 84 million years ago, when this region of Earth was still turning into the shape it holds today. It's been 84 years. And while this generally lines up with what Sclater had once claimed, the new evidence puts the notion of an ancient race of Lemurians that evolved into lemurs to rest. Mauritia disappeared 84 million years ago, but lemurs didn't evolve on Madagascar until about 54 million years ago when they swam to the island from mainland Africa, which was closer to Madagascar than it is now. Nevertheless, Sclater and some of the other scientists of the mid-1800s were partially right about Lemuria despite their limited knowledge. A lost continent didn't suddenly sink into the Indian Ocean and vanish without a trace. But long ago, there was something there, something that is now gone forever. Unfortunately, lemurs had little to do with anything of it. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel for more videos like this one. Lemuria. Lemuria.